Dr. Villacota. Today we're going to be talking about diets and epilepsy. This isn't going to be too long um, just because there hasn't been too much in terms of diets and their efficacy in adult epilepsy. Um, although there is an exception for two diets, um, there has been shown to be more efficacy in seizure reduction um, in young younger patients with these diets, but they can certainly be used in adults as well. So those two diets are the ketogenic diet, which is a high fat, low carb diet, and there's a modified Atkins diet, which is a little more lenient, probably a little more appealing to the adult patient. So those are the two diets that have been helpful. If you're thinking about pursuing either of those diets, please talk to your doctor and get a nutritionist involved. You should not be doing these diets by yourself um, just because depending on the diet, um, you need some laboratory monitoring and we also need to make sure we're checking seizure drug levels with some of them, okay? So because of all that, a doctor or nutritionist should be involved. Um, now, I get asked a lot about sugar and epilepsy. A lot of patients feel like sugar and carbs um, are not good for their seizures. Now, I'll, uh, there's been no outright evidence about this, but I know processed sugar and carbs have been implicated negatively in a lot of health conditions. So we know the brain needs glucose, it needs fat, and that's how it gets its energy. But I would strongly suggest pursuing a glucose or um, glucose uh, load that is not refined or processed sugars. Stick with the fruits, the vegetables, um, the natural sugars as much as you can, honey, molasses. Um, some of these sugar substitutes have a lot of weird stuff in them, so I would stay away from them. But that's my take on sugar and epilepsy. It's probably not awful, <laughs> but it's probably not that great either, just given how it affects every other health condition. Um, so diets, modified Atkins, and the um, ketogenic diet. And then in terms of sugar, try to limit your processed and refined sugars as best you can. So that's it for me today. Uh, feel free to follow me on all social media. Uh, the handle is Dr. Willacota MD. Um, and you can send me any personal messages about your story and if there's anything else that you know you want me to talk about. All right, you guys have a good day.